Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Hope you enjoy this little uh, look into how we spent our Easter with family. And I wanted to show off the new OU face cover. So if you see me in public and I look like this, don't forget to say hi. We sent the kids outside while we set up a fun little table for them. We got all of our homeschool stuff over here, so just don't pay any attention to that. But our church sent home some goodies for the kids, some little bags. And so these and the snacks are out of our church bags. And then we got some stuff to color eggs. That are these kinds of things are favorite. Love it. <laughs> we really love it when we get to go to grandparents' house for Easter. And they've done a lot of these eggs too. Yeah, typically my mom has a big Easter celebration for her side of the family. And Nana does all the coloring and all the fun stuff out yeah. in her yard. And then we take the kids to the park for my side of the family sometimes. They get to go run around and honey Easter eggs there. Yeah, so um, these type of things, we're just being honest, are not our favorite. Um, but desperate times call for desperate measures. It's a different, uh, this is a different Easter than we've ever had. So here goes nothing. But we'll make it through and it'll be fun and they can make a mess and I'm not gonna worry about it. Right, Daddy? Right. Mommy and Daddy have a surprise for you guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. What are we doing? We're going to make Easter eggs. So we didn't even know. You didn't even know. That lit came in our bag. I hadn't showed you everything in there. I wanted it to be a surprise. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ranger, read the outside of the egg from church. I am what I am the God, the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. All right, go ahead and take the thing off. Show us what's inside. Ooh, there's a puzzle inside. Everybody probably got some kind of puzzle. Ransom's trying to crack it. <laughs> So this is what Ransom is using. It does speckles. So that's really cool. Okay. few more things to do and a mess to clean up but for the most part Can I touch my we had a good time yeah. all right nana and papa walker just stopped by and dropped yeah, some stuff off outside for the kids and the kids went and got it what'd you guys get we got this is jesus he is riding to the city of Jerusalem on a donkey. His 12 disciples are with him. Look, look at all his disciples. Oh, the, the yep. This is my blood. I give it for you and all people, he said. Jesus went to a garden to pray. 
Eleven disciples went with him. Judas had gone to tell the enemies of Jesus where to find him. They made him carry a heavy cross up a hill. He was very tired. He, he was tired and he fell down to the ground and it hurt. Jesus' mother and friends were there. Jesus died at midday on Friday. Why do we celebrate Easter? For Jesus' resurrection. Jesus risen from the dead, didn't he? Yeah. And he rose from the dead, and that's what we celebrate Easter. Is it about bunnies? No. Is it about chickens? No. Is it about finding Easter eggs? No, it's not no. about All that candy. stuff is fun, though, but this is the what reason. About candy and that's just what we do on Easter. Jesus is the reason we celebrate Easter, okay? You guys always remember that Jesus died for you, and he was died on the cross, and then he rose again, okay? All right. What is it? We better turn some lights on so we can see. <gasps> David's here. Oh, man. Chip, he brought Easter toys. I will leave tonight so you can touch me if you want to. <gasps> we can touch. Oh, wait. <laughs> high five. High five. Ransom wanted to give him a high five real bad, didn't you? All right, you guys want to look through your bat, your buckets? Yeah. Can I put a little oh. bit of Easter eggs? Two yeah, eggs. you can get some Easter eggs. All right, so our Easter dinner is going to be centered around this, a seven and a half pound ham. We're going to put it on the Traeger. We got it preheated to 325 degrees. It's going to cook an hour on there. Take uh, some brown sugar, honey, and either apple juice or pineapple juice and make a glaze to glaze it. So we'll cook it an hour and then every 30, every 10 minutes we'll glaze it for about three, uh, three or four times. So 30 or 40 minutes of glazing and it should be ready to eat. It's going to go on the grill. Nana and Papa's pulling in. They're going to come and hide some Easter eggs all around our porch so that the kids can go and find them. So the kids are going to hide their eyes. Nana and Papa's going, there's our alarm to let us know someone's here. Nana and Papa's going to hide eggs and then we'll go out and find them. Come see what Nana left. Whoa, I can't even see. Which one's mine? They got your names on them. Nana and Papa have hid eggs around the porch, okay? What should they do if they like our video, Ransom? Hit up the notification, hit up the thumbs up, subscribe, and God bless. All right, we got our Easter lunch that Daddy has prepared. We got bread and ham, mashed potatoes. And oh, and Daddy got some radishes out of the garden. Awesome. All right, you guys ready to dig in? It's like a big feast like we normally have at Nana's house, huh? We got the kids in the house while Daddy hides eggs. We're gonna hunt them in our muck boots. I bet they're peeking. See y'all looking through that window. 
<laughs> Mazzy just waved. <laughs> While Gary hides eggs, I was going to tell you a little bit about our shepherd David that you guys have been seeing in our video. Um, David is from uh, Spot the Shepherd, and we got him a couple of years ago. Um, it is kind of a version of Elf on the Shelf, um, just another alternative that um, you do during Christmas time. And he, he moves around and he shares scripture and he does different things um, while he's searching for Jesus at Christmas time. So uh, we also have him bring the kids uh, some little Easter goodies. Um, it's just something fun for him to do and they look forward to it every year. So that's what David is. I'll put a link down below uh, for the Spot the Shepherd. Um, I believe it's actually called Shepherd's Treasure as well. Um, but I'll put a link down below so you guys can look into that if that's something you would like to do with your kids and your family. Our kids really enjoy it, and um, it's something fun to do. Oh, that was nice. Front porch, back side porch, and along the fence line, guys. Along the fence. So while they're hunting, this is our bull, Easy Street. Some of you guys have asked about him. So he is an Angus bull and his name is Easy Street. Happy Easter, Easy Street. All right, so we decided to go take a little drive and bless some of our friends with some eggs. We're gonna hide eggs on their porches and in their yard and things so they can go find them. You guys ready? All right, we're at our first stop to hide some Easter eggs for our friends. <laughs> All right, they're gonna go with. All right, here we're gonna hide them in the yard and on the porch. Ransom, go hide them in that playhouse over there. <laughs> it won't get you. Come on. We hope you guys enjoyed a little look into how we spent um, Easter. It's a little different this year, but the reason we celebrate is still the same. So we wanted to make sure we took time to make some memories. And we just wanted to share with um, all of our friends and family out there uh, what we did with our kids. So we hope you guys had a happy Easter. And just uh, remember that he is risen and we all have a reason to celebrate. And that we'll get through all these, uh, these different times and be back to normal soon. So y'all stay safe, and as always, God bless.